dear friends, this video is about Venus retrograde transit. It will last during the spring of 2017 and it is interesting for all of us, especially for Aries, Libras, Virgos, Pisces and Taurus people. Venus rules Taurus and Libras, for them especially important, for Aries people as well because it's in their sign. Then it is also important for all cardinal signs and then for all of the others. We can say that all of us will start around the 25th of March, a new cycle in the matters of partnership. And this new cycle will affect us for many years to come. The last time Venus was in the same position was in the year 2009. The cycle that started at that time ends now. And of course a new one starts. By speaking about personal partnership, one can guess that in the 2009 many people decided to relate to their partners differently. Examples of which would be you said to yourself, never again. Or you simply added the relationship. Or you started perceiving relationships in a different way. Or you started to experiment. Or to enjoy life without a partner, etc. And now it's up to you to decide how are you going to live life in the next cycle. From the May 2017 on, I'm going to offer a consultation on soulmates. Be free to write to me if you want to learn more about this. Let's say when exactly will Venus be retrograde? That will be from the 4th of March to the 15th of April 2017. From the 4th of March until the 4th of April, it will transit through the sign of Aries and from the 4th to the 15th of April through Pisces. Nevertheless, we will be under this transit until the 19th of May. Only in May we will understand what was the message that Universe sent to us. So, Venus is going to be in the sign Aries and Pisces. And these are two different energies. Aries period is going to be more, more difficult. Not too difficult because Venus is not a difficult planet. But it is going to have some challenges. And that is because Venus is in exile in Aries as it is in Scorpio sign. They are Mars rules. Mars is active, male energy, that wants to conquest, while Venus represents female attraction and its receptive energy. In the phase from the 4th of March until the 4th of April, we are going to feel conflict of this kind. For example, we wish to attract someone, but because of some reason, we must remain passive. Or, we have a strong desire to love, but it is impossible to force others to be part of it, and things like that. When Venus is retrograde, its energy is very strong because it is closest to Earth. We will strongly feel all her subjects, and that is relationship, money, personal value, material issues, purchases, agreements, and all of that is going to have different way, value while this transit lasts and after that when it finishes. Questions to think about are Do you limit yourself in getting money, love or participating in pleasure of life? Pleasures of life? Or do you expect too much? Now is the time for you to understand your behavior and needs in this matter. Venus is not the planet of love, I would like to mention here, but it is the archetype of partnership, erotic and aesthetic. The sun is love, 
In astropsychology, we consider the sun as the god in man. His energy manifests pure god love, generosity, life, health, and beauty. So everything what is the best comes from the sun. Sun represents the beauty of the soul, first of all, and more than anything else. But Venus represents attractiveness and aesthetic, as we said, erotic also. Venus has many forms and aspects that are further represented by the asteroids. But we do not have time now to speak about all that. It is enough to understand that Venus symbolizes female energy par excellence. Venus tells us about the woman as a lover, about her magnetism, charm and value. In female horoscope also says how she loves, particularly in male-female relationship. For example, if woman is born with the Venus in the sign of Taurus, Taurus she will be aware of her beauty or attractiveness. And that is why we will be able to attract money, diamonds and things like that. But when it is in the sign of Scorpio or Aries, she does the opposite. Means it's not aware of her attractiveness and that is why will not attract diamonds and similar things. Until she understands her mistakes, of course. In the male horoscope, Venus symbolizes the type of a woman he is attracted to. Well, now let's talk uh, about the most interesting topics for this retrograde Venus period. For instance, does Venus symbolize material or spiritual energy? Well, we know that she finds the luxury irresistible loves gifts and money, so her energy is very materialistic and pleasure-oriented, except when she is in the sign of Pisces. Paradoxically enough, she is in exaltation in this sign. So when she is in Pisces, she is transformed and becomes spiritual, is attracted to divine love, platonic love. She is looking for soulmate there, Neptune is the ruler of the sign Pisces. It is the archetype of divinity and, according to some interpretations, it is the higher octave of Venus. Venus and Neptune understand each other on the higher spiritual level. Okay, so what about shopping and purchasing while Venus is retrograde? We said it is a good time to buy goods, services, properties, whatever, on a discount prices, but be careful, it is also possible to overpay it and to realize that when Venus becomes direct, so good luck. Okay, now personal value and Venus retrograde. If you do not respect yourself, your job and talents, it is the time to reevaluate that. For example, if you work a lot and you are not able to ask for the proper amount of money, analyze that now. Or if you expect more from life, but things and situations are not coming, ask yourself, do you underestimate or overestimate yourself, your knowledge, your abilities and so on. It is truly an art to estimate correctly our knowledge and talents when we offer them to the world. So that can be your job, for example. Next topic is partnership. When Venus is retrograde, we have strong desire to love. But we should not start a new relationship in this period. Because we will see them, those partners, from a different perspective later on when Venus becomes direct again. Of course, to see things from a different perspective can be good and bad, but I guess you see what is the point. Also, it is quite common that during this transit, people, uh, uh, people feel again love from the past. Their love from the past come to them again. 
Sometimes they come back in a physical way and we are forced to complete the circle with them or learn something more. But the same thing can happen on the inner level or even in dreams. Without that, Venus retrograde gives us new perspective to our partnership or our needs in this area. Sometimes the partnership ends, especially if it was not uh, functional anymore or its energy was exhausted. <clears throat> Other time, it reveals love in an old partnership. People see, for example, what they have and start appreciate it more than before. This appreciation usually comes later on when Venus moves direct. And what about wedding? Well, not the best time until May. You may have heard a lot about the transit of planet Jupiter through the sign of Libra. And that is excellent for a wedding. I also recorded a video about this topic. The name is Jupiter in Libra. Jupiter will stay in Libra until autumn this year, but when Venus is retrograde, is not the time for wedding ceremonies and it is not the start of a committed relationship. It is better to wait, to wait until May. <clears throat> Agreements, contracts, business partnerships will also change. If you are dealing with those issues, you will most probably change partners or agreements, especially if someone does not respect the deal. You may even end some business relationships, but don't worry, those that have real value will still remain with you. Okay, so let's talk now about the transit of Venus retrograde for each sign described from the Ascendant. So people who have Aries at the Ascendant, they are going to Venus to have Venus retrograde in their own sign. And that is similar as to have Venus in the first house, first astrological house. So Aries people will perceive themselves in a new way and by doing so they will influence partners and finances. Very important transit. For Taurus people, or those who have Taurus on the Ascendant, they will have Venus in the 12th house. This symbolizes the end of the relationship, perhaps a long one, or even a karmic one. For some people, this is the end of a hidden or platonic love. Some even will maybe have, uh, during the springtime, short secret love adventure. Gemini. While retro, Venus is retrograde, will, uh, they, will, they will experience different kind of relationships with those people who they met through internet, through Facebook, or they work with on the projects. These are not close friends. This can be, uh, this can be some friends that you meet through internet, as I said, mainly. Or maybe they will experience changes with their friends, friends that they have from the youth or any kind of friends. Rocky, uh, cancer is going to rethink his business and people there. He will think about the past jobs and career successes and be perhaps a bit nostalgic about them. Anyway, they will reevaluate their success in life and new opportunities as well. Leos. They will change the way they see religion, spirituality, gurus and mentors. Some will understand foreigners and foreign places in a new way. Perhaps they will change future visions. Virgo will evaluate finances and shared resources. Also will make decisions about intimate love life. There can be changes with partners or or in a way how they relate to their sexuality. Libras, more than other signs, will work with this energy through marriage and committed partnership. To some of them, love from the past will come back. Some will end the relationship or work on the understanding of previous ones to see which mistakes they made in the past. 
in this year most of them will start new love life scorpios they will rethink their relationship to the job they do or to co-workers or employees if they have them also will work on their health and diet sagittarius people will perhaps end love relationship and change the way they approach their lovers these are not marriage partners these are their lovers many will estimate their children in a new way or they will react differently to people they love because they're their heart chakra will work in a new way. Capricorn people will, will see members of their family in a different way. Maybe we see them better than they are or will be sorry that some relationships finished. Other will meet love from the past, even karmic one love, karmic loves, or love from their youth time. It's maybe going to come in a dreams or in a reality. Aquarius people will perceive close ones in a sentimental way. By this I mean their relatives and people who they meet daily. Some people that are physically close to us or they are connected by blood. Those who are not worth staying in their life will most probably go. Disappear in a way. Pisces will see their finances and personal value with the new eyes. They have this transit to reevaluate their gifts and talents and to rethink how we'll offer them to other people. At the end of this transit, we'll have more self-consciousness. So it can be good. Thank you for watching the video. If you wish to learn more about yourself, please order a personal consultation. All information about that you will find on the web pages of the Studio Well Balance. If you like the video, please do not forget to like it, subscribe and share. Follow my posts on Facebook, Summer in English. See you soon and wish you to attract your soulmate.